finally it happened. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, today is the day we were going to be taking Valentina to orbit. Yes, Valentina will be coming the first Kerbal in orbit and we're covering as usually everything. Building, launching and everything in between. So stick around, it's going to be fun. And we begin our story because we have unlocked finally the command pod, meaning we are now in the capability of launching Kerbals. Yes, those little green, whatever they are, <laughs> plants, hopefully, uh, into the orbit. So, yes, we're going to be starting with Mark 1 command pod and we're going to be putting, obviously, the parachute because I always design my craft backwards. What needs to return to Kerbin? And that is the command pod, the experiments unit and the parachute that is required. Then we st start building outwards. Okay, so what is required to return the Kerbals back? We need batteries, we need reaction wheels and we need the solar panels. And then I figured, okay, let's put in also the service bay and in the service bay we might be putting some experiments because they look nice. And then I realized, actually, that service bay isn't doing me any favors because it would be kind of difficult. I start putting experiments in and actually they were better snapping outwards than inwards. So I realized, hmm, hold on, this service bay, do I really need it? And what's the advantage of having it? I've already started getting some, you know, experiments like carbonite and stuff. And I've started thinking, okay, you know what? away with the service bay. Let us just put rather the bunch of experiments onto the capsules and everywhere in between and then we're gonna be uh, returning it as is. Yeah, a fuel tank and an engine also work wonders and I think those will be working in a better way. Right, so having said that we are gonna be cramming our command pod with a uh, lots of experiments which we will be conducting because after all we are in the business of farming science. Oh, uh, and I here just was thinking if I would be putting the uh, the materials bay, which is a little bit of a you know stretch to the to 1.25 meter booster. It's not really that good. Anyway, that was the top stage. So going from the top stage, we are now designing the first stage or you know the ascent stage, and that one is actually I uh, figured maybe it would make more sense that we put an additional fuel tank upwards that will give us a little bit more delta V. I do like for my first orbital rockets to have over 4000 delta V because it helps us also the orbit and everything else. Then of course I'm putting once again the communitron because the communitron we will need for sure for communicating our experiments outwards. Right, just making sure that I put everything on the action groups because the rocket doesn't need to be more complex than that. I'm just actually adding all of the experiments to a single action group, which will be five and then six will be collect. So once again, I found it to be a very helpful. So, you know, five collect, you know, do the experiments, six collect and onwards. And it's a beautiful morning. So I've decided that this time Jeb was actually flying the plane. So I'm pretty sure there's going to be a question. Why not Jeb? Well, Val is first. Val, it will be the first Kerbin, Kerbal to reach orbit, assuming that this rocket works. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. All right, we have a beautiful launch and Valentina is sitting comfortably at her command pod, which is ascending through the heavens. Yes, that's amazing. Look at this beautiful work done by Blackrack. I mean, dude, you are inspiration to us all. Okay, so having said that, the ro we are tilting the rocket slightly orbital prograde. Valentina is enjoying herself and uh, yeah, she is really positive. By the way, guys, I would like to here to remind my most frequent commenters and channel members and patrons I will be renaming the Kerbals against you, your names, if you're interested. Just let me know in the comments of this video which role you would like me to give you. Pilot, engineer or scientist. Especially applicable for my patrons and channel members, but also my most frequent commenters. And then we will be filling the places depending on the availability. All right. So, Valentina, how are you doing? You seem to be happy, right? Yeah, the apoapsis is climbing over 60, meaning we will soon enough be going to space. Just look at this beautiful picture. I mean, Kerbal 
is old game. However, it's still very, very beautiful. Yes. Okay, our ex science says we haven't done a crew report and an EVA report. Well, you know what? Crew report we can do immediately, but the EVA report I think I'm gonna do once the engines are shut off. There is no point of me doing them while they're running. That would be just crazy. It would be the Kerbal way, though. Okay, so let's circularize. And after circularization, the point is to do all of those wonderful experiments and bring and bring both loads of data. Right, okay, we have radio plasma wave scan, crew report, EVA report, infrared spectrometer report, and plasma science experiments. Yes, we do have actually a lot of experience, and they will be bringing in a bunch of science, uh, but let's first extend our antenna so we can send it. Let's extend the solar panels. I really like these 3 by 2 solar panels that are for, you know, for the lander type, but for the satellite I prefer, you know, the, the ones in the row. Okay, RPWS, we're gonna be keep the experiments. This one we're gonna reset because we already had it. Let's... I they can actually review the data. I think I'm gonna do experiment storage unit. We're just gonna put everything there. Alright, perfect. Actually, we might just choose to send some of those experiments because there is no loss and we have plenty of electric charge. Usually, I tend to send those experiments, but uh, when you are dealing with the loss of electric charge, you have to be careful so you don't run out of uh, you don't run out of it. Okay, and the burn time will be 33 seconds and 1,192 meters per second, and it's going to be happening in, let's say, 30-ish seconds. Cool. Alright, and the only thing remaining is the EVA report. But the EVA report we're gonna be doing once we are fully orbital, because we want to report, you know, Valentina is the first Kerbal to reach orbit. Yes. That's gonna be happening soon. Trademark. Just look how beautiful this looks. I'm really happy playing the Kerbal Space program. By the way, I'm a big fan of Kerbal Spa of uh, Kitten Space Agency, and I'm hoping, I'm in loving the work they've done so far, and I cannot wait until Kitten Space Agency comes, so we get a chance to try it out, play it, give feedback on it, and rest assured, once this game comes out, I'm gonna be playing the bananas out of it. Right, okie doke. So, Let's take another picture, and I'm actually gonna be quiet for a good 10 to 15 seconds and let you guys enjoy the beauty of it. Isn't it beautiful? Isn't it glorious? Right. I felt that there was just this moment that I wanted to share, and now we are ready to take our first spacewalk. So, EVA report while we are holding on to dear life, right? We're gonna store the data just in case Valentina gets lost, but she won't. Okay, so Val, could you please turn around and take a selfie? There we go, thanks a bunch. Selfie. Alright, cool. Now nah, this looks awesome. I'm really enjoying the EVA, but I want to also return Valentina back. There we go. We want to return Valentina back, and there are some experiments that we still need to do. Crew report in space near Kerbin Highlands, EVA report, infrared spectrometers, all the experiments that are tied specifically to the biome, because some experiments in Kerbal Space Program are just tied to the situation, which like orbital or near Kerbin, that's fine. But if you're above a certain biome, there are experiments that could yield you extra science, which we're gonna do. Oh, and Valentina is just having a blast. Look at that happy face. Hey, cutie, come on. All right, so let's see if we can run some more experiments. Uh, Atmospheric pressure scan, no point. Crew report, yes, store, store, store. Good. Make sure that everything is stored in the experiment return unit. We can actually transmit even some data. 
Yes. Oh, and we are above grasslands. That means we should be doing more science. Come on. Store transmit. Store transmit. Five or six, sir. There we go. Perform all science. Just making sure that we haven't forgotten anything. And I'm actually transmitting some or, you know, picking up some because, well, some of them get stuck in the capsule. So might as well be sending them off just to ensure that we do secure all of the experiments. Do we have a plasma experiment? Come on. Log data. There we go. Transmit it. Cool. Now I'm thinking I'm starting to understand what those bars in the X science mod mean. So yellow means it needs to be done. Green bar at the right side means it's done. But the gray, the yellow EVA report means it's we have it, but it's not transmitted yet. It hasn't been returned to the KSC for the science. Okay. So right now it's time that we head back to Kerbin. And I'm creating a maneuver node that will secure that we actually get back in, you know, due fashion. So there we go. Let us make sure that we come back in decent time. All right. So we have decided to take another spree of uploading the data because after all, yeah, we might want to be returning some experiments. They look cool on the X science dashboard, right? We have a maneuver node that will be taking us out of the orbit, that will be putting us on the return trajectory, hopefully somewhere near Kerbal Space Center. I'm not that good in terms of aiming, where should we really go, but we'll see where we end up. Now, there we go, our periapsis is 17, it's a little bit harsher re-entry, but it doesn't matter. Right, just making sure that I've covered all of the science experiments and then we're going to be accelerating until we hit the atmosphere, which we should be hitting rather soon. We are at 100 kilometers and we should be crossing the 70 kilometers anytime soon. So re-entry is coming soon and look at this beautiful sunrise. Oh, isn't this glorious? Right. Okay, so we are close to 70 kilometers and re-entry is supposed to be happening in, let's say, under one second. Perfect. Now, we are in the upper atmosphere. Let's decouple and it's time for the return. Valentina, good luck. And we're going to be going through a brief period of radio silence while our brave Kerbal returns safely back to Kerbin. Hopefully safely. Now we have some heating. Just look at those cloud layers by Blackrack. Those are just awesome. And for your convenience, I have accelerated the return significantly. I think, oh, and we just lost one antenna. Well, that's the one that snaps usually when you're flying. That's okay. We still have a small antenna and that's going to be working fine. Oh, look, there's the island. Oh, 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 it would be awesome if I managed to land on the island runway. I'm not sure if I will be able though, but let's give it a try. I'm immediately popping the shoot just to, you know, hopefully stop in the right way, but I'm not sure if we're going to make it. Let's quickly see. We are descending down through the atmosphere, but we'll see how it goes. Come on. Oh, there we go. Easy does it. Uh, KSC's Kerbal Space Program is just beautiful. Okay, we jettisoned the heat shield and now I hope that we won't sink. Let's see. Will it float? It floats. Awesome. Alright, let's see if we can do some more experiments. Now, I want to make sure that I do a crew report and I would like an EVA report and a surface sample. Thank you very much. Yeah, okay, so uh, let's say collect all. There we go. That means we maybe have a review report reset or let's transmit the report just to be safe. No usable comm devices. Why are there no usable comm devices? I have a small antenna and we are in range. Come on, that's silly. Okay, just making sure to take an EVA report and a surface sample, good. Return in please and before you sink, because we seem to be sinking slowly, let's return. Look, Valentina has gotten a lot of different ribbons and that's awesome. And we have 341.9 science to spend in R&D. Oh boy, oh boy. This is gonna be bonanza. Now, let's see, what can we do? Advanced fight control, advanced landing. 
Advanced landing, that might actually be helpful because we get to get the big landing legs. What about recycling? That gives us a life support thingies. Storage, that might be handy. Life support canisters, sure, that's for longer trips. Aerodynamics, that might be just good for planes and a little bit more fairing stuff, okay. What else do we got? Advanced fuel systems, all right. Actuators, well, we don't need them just yet. Precision propulsion, that might be very handy for the small probes and everything. So landing, maybe precision propulsion. Okay, let's say advanced landing, I definitely want it. Then aerodynamics, then I have another for 160 or two for 90. Miniaturization, that's also maybe handy to have. Yep, I'm going to take that one and advanced flight control. Sounds like a perfect addition. By the way, guys, if you made it this far, that means you must like what I'm doing. So in which case I would cordially advise you to boop the like button if you like it and check out the pin comment because if we have a next episode ready, I will be putting it link in the pin comment. And let's just take a look at decorations that Valentina has earned. With that being said, thank you very much for watching. I'm going to see you in the next one.